Welcome to Badgehurst Training. This series is part of our Animal Care Series. Before we do any tasks with working animals, we need to think about our PPE, which is our personal protective equipment, which consists of mainly gloves and apron. So let's put these on. Cover the front of your body and then just tie it at the back. And we have our gloves. going to demonstrate how to um, perform a health check from a dog. Hey Alfie, he's a good boy. So he starts at the head end, make sure that his eyes get clear, and they both are. Um, have a look at his teeth. There we go, make sure he's okay. Have a look, if we can, just have a look inside his mouth. Alfie, you can have a look. No, okay, we'll have a little peek from here then. Okay, good boy, sweetie. Okay, and then we can look at his ears. When you're looking in the ears, you're just looking to make sure there's no discharge, make sure they're not too hairy as well, because sometimes they get a lot of wax trapped in the hair. It's got absolutely lovely ears there, haven't you? Let's just check the other one. Right, now we're going to just feel him, uh, make sure that he hasn't got any lumps or bumps anywhere um, on his skin. So this is just um, demonstrating how to feel over him, just to check him. We're going to do feet next. And for the feet, we just pick them up, just have to make sure there's nothing in his pads, make sure they look healthy. Check his nails, see how long they are, just in between his toes. We're going to do that all four feet. bottom now just to make sure that that looks healthy so if any discharge and um, make sure the skin looks healthy and that's it good boy let's do a health check on a cat um, we start off at the head end and work our way down to the tail and to start with we just check the eyes um, I should be bright and clear. Just have a look, see if there's any foreign objects. Um, <coughs> and they are absolutely perfect there. Um, just have a look at their, their nose um, and just observe their face to see if there's any lumps or bumps. Uh, check inside their mouth again, just by putting your uh, index finger and thumb at either side of their jaw, just behind their canines. And um, that's it. You can see inside that there's nothing stuck in his throat, nothing in his tongue. Uh, just check that the gums are clean and nice and pink. Uh, then we move on to the ears. Just bend the ears flat back. Have a look. Um, make sure there's no funny smells or any discharge. Both sides. Okay, a little bit of black wax in there which we can get rid of later. Good boy. Okay, and then we'll just fill all the way down the cat's body just to fill in for any abnormalities. Just checking there's no lumps. Um, down each leg. You can make them put their claws up just by pressing there on their pads. That's it. And we go over here, just press on that pad, just check there's nothing stuck in between their toes. Make sure their pads aren't scuffed or damaged at all. Sitting in the same for the back legs. Oh, oh. good boy. That's it. And just fill down. <coughs> Back feet, just fine. And the other one. And just look under his tail, just check his bottoms. Alright. You get that looks the right colour, there's no injury or anything there. Fill down his tail. 
that's all fine and this is what should be done every day um, just so that you can observe any lumps and bumps or if they have any wounds, uh, any injuries or any other problems. Here's the health checks on a rabbit, daily health care checks. Um, start at the front and work your way down to the bottom end. Um, so just check that their nose is, is clear from any discharge. Um, just have a look in their mouth, this can be quite difficult with rabbits, but just gently pull their teeth up, sorry, pull their gums up just to check their teeth. Um, just about to see that's okay. Um, you'll need someone there holding their front legs in case they scratch at you. Um, and then you check their eyes. Rabbits can very easily get eye infections, so just check that they're both clean and clear. There's nothing obviously in the eyes and they're discharged. Um, and move on to the ears. And you're looking down the ears just to make sure there's no discharge. Um, and it's important to smell um, when you're checking animals ears as well because quite often if there is um, some nasty bacteria in there causing an infection then they'll smell quite nasty too. Okay, so both ears are fine. Just check the outside of the ear flaps. Um, it's a good place to see if they've got any mites or anything in the skin. Um, and then just straight down their body, just check for lumps and bumps. Um, this rabbit's very long hair, so I can feel a few little knots and tangles in her hair, so we'll bring her in a minute. Um, just check their bottoms and their tail, that's all fine. And then if you could just pick her up so we can look at her tummy. That's it. And we'll just look at her tummy here, you can see she's got the few knots, we'll sort those out later. Uh, really important to check um, their bottom area. Uh, especially in the summer because they're very prone to getting uh, flies laying their eggs in there and maggots and fly strike. Um, so just check um, these little bits of hair, we'll just trip off, trim off later. Make sure there's no soft pieces stuck to the bottom um, or anything else that's all nice and clear. There you go. Um, and that needs to be done every day. Um, as I say, it's very important in the summer particularly that you check uh, their bottom area twice a day actually, morning and evening, to make sure there's no fly eggs. Um, and just every day do a general health check just to um, make sure they haven't got any hair that's knotted or any lumps and bumps on them or any signs of infection.